Hey, you guys. I spent some money at Marshall's. Come hear the story and see what I got. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy, and I'm really happy that you're here. Okay, so story time, very short, and then I'll show you what I got. What's going on here? It's frizzy today. So we went to dinner tonight up the little town, the, the town up from us. It's about 10, 15 minutes away. That's where all the things are. All the things are up there. It's called Hilliard. So we went up there. We went to dinner. Uh, I kept saying, I really need to go to Marshall's. I really need to go to Marshall's because my stash of, of sheet masks is dwindling. Like it's, it's almost gone. Now, not the ones I've gotten from friend mail, but the ones that I give out in friend mail, put in giveaways, that kind of thing. Yeah. It's almost gone. The only thing I have left are some like Dollar Tree masks and I wanted other ones. So I said, uh, they're going to be closed by the time we get out of here. We'll just, we'll just come up tomorrow. And he was like, okay. Well, I looked to see what time they closed. They closed at nine 30 and we got out of there at nine o'clock. And I was like, Oh, and it's like right next door. It's like two minutes away. So he was like, I'm going to stay in the car. I said, Oh, that's fine. I'm only going in for sheet masks. I'm only going in for sheet masks. Yeah. Okay. Um, I took almost the entire half hour. I did buy some sheet masks, but I found some really great makeup and this Marshall's is not known for that. They always have Morphe and they always have some BH palettes, uh, but any kind of higher end makeup, they don't have that. So I bought some stuff. So let me show you. First, I'm going to show you a sheet mask. I will start off by saying I spent $130. But I had two gift cards left over, so I really only paid like half of that. So yeah. So the first thing is these um, are these Azure, Azure, and I've gotten Azure masks from them before, and I really like them. These are the anti-aging under eye patches, fine line wrinkles under eye bags and puffiness, and I paid $3.99 for these, and there are five in here. And then here are the retinol and hyaluronic hydrating face mask, anti-aging, brightening, restoring. And I've had these before and I've given these out in friend mail before. And there are five of those and I paid $3.99. Then I got the Azure Vitamin C and Collagen Moisturizing Face Mask, Brightening, Restoring, Wrinkle, Reducing. Five of them for $4.99. It's reflective. Okay, so those are all the Azure. I was really happy to find these. These are the... Esfolio, Esfolio, they're amazing. They're really great masks. This is the Honey Essence Sheet Mask. And I think there's 10 in here. I think there's 10 in here. And I paid $6.99. It's a bigger box and it's sealed. So I know that they're in there. And then the next ones are the Hyaluronic... Gracie's doing something downstairs. Hyaluronic Acid with Peach Essence mask, uh, sheet mask, mask sheet. And again, those were $6.99 and there's 10 of them. So I thought that was a great idea or a great deal. And then I got, uh, oh, this only has three in them. Mm. Mm. Well, that's okay. I got the Crim Shop Slow Down Skin Animated Sloth Face Mask. Uh, these were $3.99. They didn't have any on clearance. I mean, they did, but they weren't worth getting. And then I got the uh, Creme Shop Retinol and Vitamin C Fusion Sheet Masks. I really like these. There's five of them in here. For $3.99. What are you doing? What were you doing down there? You're making all kinds of noise. Yes, you were. Okay, and then I have the Be Clear Skin Animated Kitten Face Mask. Acne Fighting Witch Hazel. Aren't those cute? I don't think I've ever seen these. I've seen other cat ones, but I don't think I've ever seen these. They're adorable. And then this last one is the PSL Printed Essence Sheet Mask. It has pumpkin seed oil, squalene, squalene and lactic acid for firming, moisturizing, and youth promoting. And I don't know how many there are in here. I want to say five. But, and I don't know what... I don't know what's on them. I think it's just fall things, but I thought those were cute for fall. I tried to find more of these and I couldn't. I think those are, 
Yes, yeah, those are all the sheet masks I got. So stand by. I'm going to put these back in the bag or somewhere, and then I'll get the makeup out. Okay, you guys. So I bought a couple things, bought a couple things for myself, but some of this is for um, my upcoming giveaways because I have my 700 subscriber giveaway because I reached 700. Yay! And then I am having a kind of a big giveaway at the end of October uh, for my two year YouTube anniversary. So I wanted some, you know, good stuff. I mean, I have, I have a ton of stuff. Uh, I just wanted, I just wanted to look, I just wanted to look and I, I found some things. So the first thing I got is this elf. Uh, it is a face palette, glow, gleam, beam face palette. And I thought that was beautiful. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. It's a highlighter palette. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Hey, there's a bronzer up here, a couple bronzers, but I paid $4.99 for it which is probably just a little bit less of what they had in the store. And then I bought this Beauty Crop Cocoa Light Highlighting Palette. And it's it's uh, shrink-wrapped, so I'm not going to open it, but those are the shades. This one looks like it's marbled. Um, I bet it's a lot like... Stand by. This one's from Kinder. This is one of mine. I bet it's, I bet it's a lot like that. Not that you guys needed to know that, but I, I just think it is. So I got those two. Oh, and this one was $3.99. This is $3.99. Then I found these two Rude palettes. This is the United Peachy Nudes palette. I thought that was really pretty. Really pretty. Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep these two or not. I have no idea. I just bought them because I love Rude. I think Rude has a great formula, and I have been seeing these. Uh, people getting these from Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, things like that. And then the other one I got, and this one was $9.99. $9.99. And then I got this one from, or this one is the... Oh, this one's sealed on both sides. I am going to cut this one side or pull it off. I think I can just pull it off. There. Um, this is the United Pinky Nudes. The other one was Peachy Nudes. This is Pinky Nudes. And this was $9.99 as well. And it's so pretty. It's a pretty palette. I thought that was really pretty. Like I said, I may not, I, I didn't get the, I didn't really have a plan for them when I got them. I just know that Root is a nice formula. It's very inexpensive and they look, they were in great shape. So I got those. Then I found two, I bought two of these. This is the Fenty Beauty uh, Kilowatt Foil Highlighter Compact. And I don't have anything from Fenty. I saw, actually, Mary Catherine Loves Cats found this at her Marshalls or TJ Maxx. That's the packaging. And this is what it looks like. And these things swatch. These are very... So they look a lot darker than what they actually swatch. If I can find a picture of what they swatch, I'll put it up here. But I don't know if I can. But I just thought that was... They're beautiful. They're very, wow, when they're swatched. But they're not near as dark or bright as that. They're just uh, very, very uh, strobey is what I like to say. So I bought two of those. And I got these for $7.99 each. And then for $7.99, I found the ABH Norvina number one of the minis. It's the mini palette. I have, stand by, I have the two and the three two and three. Um, and I, I had the one and I gave it away. Um, I gave it to a friend because they had the two and the three and they didn't have the one. So I thought maybe, you know, to complete their collection, because it's really not that important to me. I got this for, I'm pretty sure I got this for a giveaway. I'm probably not keeping it um, because I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty. Let me show you. It's very pretty.
but I have purples and pinks and I know that this is a nice formula because I have used the number two, um, it's oranges and greens and yellows. I did use that in a, in a look, a um, St. Patrick's Day look. So I know that the formula is good. I don't know what it is. Like, I just don't reach for them. I don't know. Okay. So the star of the show, I found the ABH subculture palette. Twenty four ninety nine. ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. It it was spider wrapped. It's got a little theft thing on there. It was spider wrapped and it's sealed, so I knew that it had not been messed with. But I'm hoping I had I didn't look in it. Oh, oh, this is so soft. It's like velvet. Oh, she's so pretty. That is what she looks like. That is so fall. Oh, this I got for myself. This is not going in a giveaway. That I got for myself because it's freaking stunning. And... Other than these little ABH Norvinas, I don't have a full-size ABH palette. No, I do not. So when I saw that for $25, sold, and they had like 10 of them. I couldn't believe it, how many they had, and they were all spider-wrapped. So you guys, that's my Marshalls haul. Tell me what you think. Tell me how you think I did. Um, I wouldn't normally pick up an e.l.f., uh, at Marshall's. I mean, I love Elf and I love their little face bite size palettes. They're really pretty. Uh, there's one called Lychee, Lychee, uh, that I really love, but I thought that was gorgeous. And I wanted to put, I wanted to put a highlighter palette in, in one of my giveaways. Um, and I don't have any of those, so I'm excited. So tell me what you think of my haul. And um, tell me if uh, you have any of these in your Marshall stores or TJ Maxx. So thanks, you guys, so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. And until our next adventure, everyone have a great day, and we'll see you later.